All right, so if you like 4-3 linear as your settings in Apex Legends and wanted to know how to really control that in the ALC settings, now this might be a video you might be interested in. Sorry if you hear a little bit of snoring. We got little man here with us today. Uh, you might see him in some more videos here, but it's, it's the only way we can keep the grind going. So if you hear a little bit of snoring, I apologize, but let's get into some settings. ALC wise, if you want 4-3 linear, the regular settings, this is probably the closest you can do, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So first things first, we gotta give a couple shout outs for the help on this video. We're gonna be showing a conversion chart here uh, that was created by ZachAttack54 and uh, another one of my subscribers actually goes by the name of Ricky the Duck. He gave me his sort of settings that go with this and then I fine tune them myself. So you're actually going to be getting a lot of different settings here all in one video. So let's just get into it. So what we're gonna be showing you on screen first here is a, a normal sensitivity to ALC chart conversion. So essentially, if you use any of these settings uh, normally and you wanna convert them to ALC, Zach Attack 54 here was able to kind of do the math and these are the closest you could probably get to uh, what it would be in the ALC conversion. So for instance, in this video, we're talking about 4.3 linear. It's my favorite, uh, my favorite setting to use at the moment. So what we would do is for the yaw speed and pitch speed, we would put that at about 220 and then the pitch speed at about 180. From there, you would transition your ADS to 140 and to 80. And then I know, what about the settings and everything on the upper portion of the ALC charts? Now that's sort of the basis standard of what it should be. I'll show quickly uh, the settings that my friend Ricky the Duck uses. You can try them out yourself if you like a little bit heavier of a dead zone. Now for me, I like to use a dead zone of zero because stick drift isn't a huge issue with my controller if you didn't know already. Dead zone, when you're not touching anything on your controller and your character is just... That's what having a dead zone is. If you don't want that movement at all, just make your percentage higher up. Don't exactly copy what I'm doing. I just am used to having a dead zone and, and stick drift and everything. So that's why I keep mine at zero. I like to keep the threshold at one and then the response curve, obviously zero would be the most linear. If you want to fine tune that from here and there, uh, you can, but we're talking about four through linear here and with no dead zone whatsoever. And then, like I said, I fine tune these a little bit better to what I personally like. So I changed my yaw speed to 265 and then my pitch speed to 205. And then I had the turning extra yaw and turning extra pitch up just slightly to help me with the hip firing ability. Overall, this made the sensitivity slightly, ever so slightly faster than what I think 4.3 linear would be without the ALC. So that's just, again, my own personal opinion. When it comes to the ADS yaw speed and pitch speed, uh, I changed mine to 130 and then 90. And I just wanted it to be a slightly more increased from what it actually does feel like. And then the remaining additional extra yaw and extra pitch, I actually changed those up to the default to 30 and 30 as well. Again, this overall just kind of helped me track slightly better. And uh, this is just, this seems like somewhat of a more fluid 4-3 linear. And uh, you don't have to exactly copy these settings exactly. You can use it as sort of a baseline for yourself and then fine tune it to what you would want it to be. But essentially the beginning ALC conversion chart I showed in the beginning of the video is where you want to start and then you can start moving left and right. However, like more speed, less speed, more dead zone, less dead zone. And then as far as the paroptics, that's completely up to you. I left mine on default. If you want to change them to just have even more custom ability, that's completely up to you. But yeah, so that's basically uh, what a 4-3 linear sensitivity would be in Apex Legends if you did the ALC settings and not just the default settings. Let me know if you liked the video and uh, comment down below if you feel like if they helped you or if uh, there's something else you want to see on the channel. As always, thank you guys for all the love and support. I'll see you in the next one.